Alhamdulillah in the holy month of Safar bless us and perfect us in the ways of reality. We've been asking to go into these oceans of reality that it takes from the dress of Sayyidina Muhammad that when Allah dressing Qadeem and ancient reality of dressing the light of Prophet oceans of immense light, immense haybah and majestic light. A light that doesn't accept any crookedness and people find that month to be heavy because Allah haybah is not something easy to be carried. body can't carry that, the soul wishes to be dressed by that and there lies in the conflict. In the heavens the qamar is always following the shams. Make our lives that we always run towards the reality of Prophet that our eating, our drinking, our breathing, our praising, our money, our every… everything we do is in the way of Allah and to seek Allah's satisfaction. And Allah confirmed, قُلِينِ كُنْتُمْ تُهِبُونَ اللَّهِ فَتَبِيُونِي If it's my love that you want, then again be, be from the tabi'een. Best of tabi'een look to the moon. It is following the light and takes a course in its life to follow the light. And then they remind us, follow the light. And then Allah will love you. Allah will forgive you your sins and make you to be from under Qafur Rahim. Then Allah forgive everything and dress you from His Divinely lights and mercy and place us within our stations in paradise. It's a never-ending reality because it's in the way of knowing oneself and knowing the reality of Prophet as much as Prophet wants to disclose of that Divinely reality. And that Divinely knowledge is only beneficial if the person has hikmah. If Allah give you only knowledge and you have no hikmah in using it, you go around and make a lot of problems. You speak the wrong things to the wrong people and to the wrong level of each person and therefore lies all the confusion within people. When Allah dresses those servants with hikmah, their hearts are alive in the presence of Prophet in the presence of awliyaullah. They pick your signal up and they address you according to your level, to your station. And they don't tell you more than what you can handle and make you to go into confusion and to, to leave your religion. It's enough in which Allah wants you to be handling it, enough to make you want to accomplish whatever needs to be accomplished and that is from the oceans of hikmah. Don't talk about what you're not doing. So you see that many verses of the Qur'an, they're constantly repeated in our lives. Many hadith, particular hadith, they're constantly repeated in our lives. And then you watch other people on YouTube from other trainings and other understanding. Every day there's 10 different hadith they're repeating. And every day 10 different ayahs of Holy Qur'an, every day, every day, every day different, 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 different. And this is against the adab of tariqah because they come into our lives and say that hold a respect, hold an ihtiram and a respect, one for Holy Qur'an. These are Allah's ancient words, they're not created words. When you hold a respect for it means that what comes you don't let it to be dropped, don't let it to hit the ground, implement it in your life. There were sahabi that were known for only reciting Surat al-Ikhlas because they were teaching us the way. 
Then imagine holy hadith of Prophet that with one hadith you can change your whole life. Who knows himself will know his Lord. Say, Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasulullah that give us an ihtiram and a love and a respect that if we repeat your words we live by them. Not a matter of uh, repeating 5,000 words and none of which we live by. That's why they pick a particular few and they say that this is the way of tarbiyah and cleansing. Use these verses, use these holy hadiths, live them, breathe them, eat them, implement them into your entire being. Itaqullah wa ahdimukumullah that Allah says, now you have a consciousness with me. You're conscious of my word, you keep the ihtiram and the respect of my Rasul Salam. Now I will teach you because you're safeguard and a safe and a trusty one that you're, you're entrusted with our words and with our way and you keep its respect and you keep its limits. Have you started planning for the cost of post-secondary education? We will help you open a plan and access thousands of dollars in government grants. Give your child a head start with a CET plan. Did you know that it may be possible to start an RESP and not contribute any of your own money? Call today and receive 25 air miles reward miles when you book a consultation. Knowledge, quality, integrity. Star cares about your best interests and have a wealth of experience to match. We've been in the business 30 years and are here to lead you every step of the way. Whether it's building the custom home of your dreams, doing gorgeous home renovations, building a laneway home, or revamping your commercial space. The star process works. Just ask our hundreds of satisfied customers. We have several properties and the best thing about Star for Life Services is that the work is done in a very timely manner and we're always very pleased with the result. Star, let's make your dreams happen. Call us now to book your free consultation. Everyone has three states of matter, solid, liquid, gaseous which we call ethereal like an angelic wind and a breeze. This dunya based on solid matter and the difficulty upon the earth right now is that it's in a very solid state block-like thinking that intolerant, impatient and every bad characteristic. And what Allah just sent and the understanding is that these moons and these guides they reflect a very powerful light but for you to understand it you have to just take an example. Their light is beyond the light of the sun how it affects this dunya. Imagine then the light of their soul. Means then imagine what type of souls these are. These are from the people of Maqam al-Ihsan. Islam, you accept it to submit that I want to be a moon, maybe, maybe now, maybe no. Maqam al-Iman is nur. Now we talk in the world of nur. That's why if you YouTube, very few people talk about nur. They talk about usul, Islam. You do this, don't do that, wash your fingers, do that. Okay, you covered that, my children can do that. 
Maqam al-Iman is that everything in the relationship of the world of light. Then Allah is just showing, look, look the sun, how it, it reflects to the moon. The moon is the only planet that reflects light because it effaced itself and took a tremendous beating and reflects light. The others, they have to die, become a star. It reflects the guides who are alive. The guides who are dead, they're stars. They lost their mass. There's an example from each reality. Allah just said, no doubt, if you're pious and you die, you have an eternal light in the heavens and everybody will see that light. And Prophet described his companions والسلام, so powerful, they are guiding lights on a dark night. They'll take you to your destination. But star has no mass. The one who has mass and gives light is the moon. That's why Allah is that for you who are living, you can reflect light but you're not a source of light. You're not a prophet, it means take a path in being nothing, you're nothing, you're nothing. And then the whole school of tarbiyah is to be nothing. Stop thinking, stop pretending like you know something, be nothing, be nothing. As soon as you're nothing, you're able to convey that light of the sun and they turn their light on and off. You may see them when they're off and look at see there's nothing there, what's the big deal? Because that's the moon. The moon when you look at it, it look kind of ugly, there's nothing on it. It's like, really? How does this reflect the sunlight? Maybe they should have some more bedazzling and something like really amazing. Some people think that if they spend time with you like you're going to be doing all sorts of miraculous things if you're a pious person. Hey, if you're a moon you're supposed to be ugly and doing nothing, you're not supposed to be showing anything. Many people would visit Mawlana Shaykh and say, oh, okay well, how is he the king of all saints? He's very loving, very sweet. But if you sat in a majlis and he's making zikr and sobat, you knew that the entire heavens was emanating from the heart of Mawlana Shaykh. Means they're on and off, they're not on to show off, that would be the earth. The moon, you look at it, you're amazed, what the heck is going on there? Nothing, there's nothing there except little holes from beating. Means then that light, it begins to reflect. When we accompany that light, they have the ability with their nazar to begin to send a light upon us. And that's why Allah ordered in Qur'an that keep their company. When you keep their company and you keep their associations, their teachings will train, their presence will begin to melt you, will begin to burn you, will begin to aggravate you because of the reflection of the light that reflecting from their shaykh, from their shaykh, from their shaykh, from their shaykh all the way to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And that light not coming to you, that light comes to you via reflection of the shaykh. Otherwise then why Allah set the order of the sun and the moon? There may be a sun on the east coast and there may be a moon on the west coast. But if you know your place and know your limit and don't go beyond that limit, means then you're always in their reflection and you always know your station and you're in that station and in that reflection that light and that nazar can begin to melt you. It takes you and crushes you from your solid state of everything you thought in life and I was gonna do this, I was gonna do that, I'm like this, I'm like that, my opinion count for this and okay? no, 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 here they crush until that solid becomes like a dust. Now you like it, you don't like it, Allah doesn't care because now look to the whole world. That's why Allah said, I show you my sign upon the horizon and I show it to you inside yourself. Clever are those who realize, Ya Rabbi it's better that I clean myself before you clean me. Because if Allah starts scrubbing it may be a little bit intense, right? Don't you see the whole world? Aren't they all being crushed down? 
they sat one day in their homes and they thought they were on top of the world. Every, every nation, they never expected what they're going to be expecting. They, their homes crushed, their lives crushed, everything bombed, everything obliterated. And now even they're in cafes and theaters and movie places, everything being destroyed and obliterated. Isn't that the crushing of the material world? Because we don't know the phase in which this world is moving and we don't know the difficulty in which it's coming. And what is it that Allah wounds from us? Did you know that your child may be eligible to receive up to $10,000 in government grants to pay for his or her post-secondary education? My name is Sikandar Hayat. I am here to help you. Call today for a free consultation. Many people come and see me saying how difficult it is to get into the market and buy your first home today. At Shah of Kukutlam, we have a range of solutions that helps you find the perfect home that fits your needs. For over a decade, we have helped hundreds of clients from first-time buyers to seasoned investors achieve their goals. We also provide free seminars and workshops so when the time comes, you can make an educated decision to set you and your family up for life. Whatever your needs are, whatever your goals are, come and see me. My name is Shah and I can help you find the perfect home. Only Allah can come into our lives and through that nazar and that reflection they begin to melt the solid state. You feel yourself, oh I don't care anymore. Melting, melting, oh my plans it doesn't mean anything, all this doesn't mean anything. You melt, you melt, you melt until they take you, agitate you, aggravate you and turn you into water. And now you see on television the water state, right? Water, if you pour it, it goes everywhere and it finds a crack and stays there. So the same people, poor people, Allah's rahmah be upon them. They had certain requirements that I don't sleep unless I'm on this type of bed and this type of furniture and this type of life, solid state. When Allah forced liquid state, they are running with their children trying to find a corner in the rain and sleep. And something to eat and something to drink. It's, it's all around us. Allah is bringing Sifat al-Qahar saying, you want to clean them, don't clean them, I'm cleaning all of the earth. Because thy kingdom come, thy will be done, Sifat al-Qahar. When Allah brings Sifat al-Qahar, everything standing will be crushed. The compactor, have you seen the compactor that crushes the car? Everything is crushed because Allah Azimat is coming. Not by crazy people and terrorists. Because it's happening on all sides from all people. There are Buddhists killing people. I thought they don't harm a worm. Everybody crazy and everybody under zulmat and oppression. And this is the big crushing. As it crushes, 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 it leaves a stream of liquid. Because everything been crushed, you don't care no more, whatever, just let me find a place to sleep. Means by accompanying them, the light begins to change that servant 
and begin to take them into a liquid state where they don't think, don't want. If you take out all of those thinking and all those wanting, all those preconceived notions that block you from patience because you perceiving something should be a certain way. When those are gone, you're like liquid. Wherever they throw you, eh, alhamdulillah, I'm there. They pick you up, throw you here, eh, alhamdulillah, I'm there. And you're in liquid state and we see the earth now is in liquid state. Then accompany them more and through that nazar, that, that reflection that Allah is just showing from the moon, they can take from a liquid state to a gaseous state with ethereal state. They apply a little bit more power, a little bit more energy and you find yourself in a sensation through your soul. Means their ability and their understanding is immediately they, their heart is lit. As soon as their shaykh releases an energy, the ethereal state and the gaseous state of the guide comes out and it begins to immediately emanate a light and an energy where people feel. And it's not from them, it's from the shaykh. And they take us to a gaseous state where they apply a little bit more heat onto your liquid character and immediately you feel the rise. You feel your soul, you feel everything to be latif and, and of a subtle nature. Only at that time then they can begin to open the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and the Ruhaniyat and Nabi where you begin to see what Allah wants you to see. You hear what Allah wants you to hear, that is the reality of the holy hadith that approach me through voluntary worship means all of this is voluntary of taking a path towards realities to be dressed by these realities and then Allah described what going to open to the power of the soul. Hear what people don't hear, see what people don't see. We pray that Allah grant us more and more patience, more and more understanding. Everything here is about that station and that reality. Everything here is about listening, about following, about submitting the self and staying quiet. As much as you can stay quiet and be patient, as much as that energy can dress you, as much as you don't stay quiet, then they have to repeat the test another time. And they can repeat that for 99 years, it doesn't matter. But it matters if we want to rise and we want to get to the next level, then they are waiting patiently to take us to that level. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bisiri Surat al-Fatiha.